So we all know that a bunch of dropshippers like you and me have been making a lot of money selling products on TikTok. And as you can tell by the title of this video, two of my videos actually went viral on TikTok for my Shopify brand. Now, the question is, what exactly made those videos viral? How exactly can you copy the same formula? And more importantly, probably what you all want to know, how much revenue did those two viral videos exactly bring in? Let's get it. What is going on YouTube fam? It's your boy Yash. Welcome back to the channel. Now I know I took last week off, but it's because your boy was chilling in DR in the Dominican Republic. Shout out to all my people that are from there. Honestly, I just needed a little bit of a break. Yes, I was working from there, but at that same time, I was just recouping and getting ready for Q4 up here so I can bring that dough in. Now, I've gone ahead and made a few videos on the channel talking about TikTok, really showcasing how much potential it really has. And to be honest, it really does. So I thought it actually be cool showcasing some of the viral videos I have utilizing the organic posting strategy on TikTok in which in case if you have not seen that video definitely check that video out by clicking right over there it'll exactly show you on how I drive free sales and free traffic to my Shopify dropshipping stores by just posting on the TikTok platform in which we'll cover a little bit during the end of the video so you guys can go ahead and exactly do the same for your Shopify stores this is absolutely a great way to start a great way to begin and actually start bringing in some sales especially if you're a newbie or a beginner and perhaps don't have that much capital or money to work with now I do want to keep this video as short yet as informative as possible so before we do move forward into the video ladies and gents do me a favor and get that good deed of the day out and done with and drop a like on this video and while you're at it feel free to also subscribe to the channel with that post notification bell turned on because I do post new videos every Monday and Thursday without any further ado do let's take a look at these viral videos all right so let me just go ahead and grab my phone so I'm going to show you guys two videos out of multiple that actually went ahead and did some really good numbers had some really good engagement now these two videos are regarding my phone case brand called Privcase on TikTok. I've showcased you guys this brand before and talked about it just a little bit, but in case if you guys are new and haven't seen any of the other videos, this product is the invisible or anti-peat phone case. Essentially, it has a magnetic feature on it that basically clamps the top and the bottom of the phone case together. And more than that, it also comes inbuilt with the privacy screen. So absolutely nobody can see what you're doing on your phone from the sides. It's actually an OG dropshipping product that really came around in the market when I first started dropshipping in 2017 and 2018. But because TikTok is such a naive platform, a lot of products that did well before on Facebook and Instagram two, three, four, or even five years ago are coming back and absolutely making a killing for people. Actually, I do have a few pieces left in my office. So let me just showcase you guys the product really quickly. All right, here we go. So this is actually one of my favorite colors. As you can see, it's kind of like this greenish color. Now, by the way, I'm not traditionally drop shipping from AliExpress or CJ drop shipping or anything like that. In fact, this product is currently white labeled for all Samsung and iPhone cases. I do in fact have a warehouse, a 3PL with a bunch of inventory for these phone cases where I'm getting about three to five day shipping times. And like I said, it is white labeled. So I do have custom packaging, box inserts, so on and so forth. So like I said, anyway, this is a magnetic case. So it'll just basically clip on together. And I think it is really, really cool as to what it does. And I'm not sure how much you can see through the camera, but from the sides, it basically turns invisible or black, almost like a black mirror. So really no one can see what you're doing on your phone. 
Stop the peekers from peeking. Stop those lurkers, as they say. Anyway, back to the video. Sorry, I get a little too excited when I do talk about these cases, but this first video that went viral had over 730,000 views, and in the span of the next six to seven to eight days, it kept getting higher and higher and higher. I think the first two or three days, it only had about a few hundred thousand views, maybe two or three hundred thousand views, and then it kind of just skyrocketed from there. So let's go ahead and check this first video out. This phone case got me a 4.0 GPA in school. None of my teachers could see my phone was on in class. The ultimate finesse. <laughs> So that was the actual video. Now, like I said, in the span of about six or seven days, it did about $1,100 in sales, just a little bit over with about 60 orders. Now, this video would have probably gotten about five to $10,000 in sales, but the reason why it didn't as much was because I was kinda instigating or talking about cheating in class, now, a lot of people weren't really about it. Students, parents, teachers were going ahead and commenting on the video. So I think it hindered the full potential of the amount of sales that it could actually bring in. Again, this was just a learning process, something that I kept in mind. And what I really recommend is try and stay as neutral as possible. Don't post any videos that really irk something or trigger something when it comes to the mass majority of people. Cool, so now let's take a look at the second video which brought in about 147,000 views in about five days. This phone case saved me from my mom seeing my girl's pictures. It makes your screen invisible so nobody can see what you're searching or who you're texting. Nice little call to action there. And you can also see my car in the background, which I do have a different license plate by now. If you already have not seen it, I think it's pretty cool. I'll pop up a picture somewhere on the screen. But anyway, this one brought in, as you can see, a little over $1,700 in sales in five days in a less of a time span than the one that got five times more as views. And because this video wasn't as vulgar, maybe it was a little bit more inappropriate because, you know, I'm talking about my girls pics i'm not going to go ahead and say the word because I don't want to get demonetized thank you youtube but at that same time this was a little bit more neutral so a younger crowd a younger audience was more drawn to something like this so again my profit margins for both you know videos for or for both aspects of the sales were about 60 to 70 percent because the only thing i was paying for was cost of goods sold, COGS, and I had no ad spend at all. So overall, you guys can see that I brought in $3,000 in sales and it only took me about two to four minutes to make and edit both of these videos. So I think that's a pretty good return of investment if you go ahead and ask me. So now you're probably wondering on how you can exactly do the same and what to go ahead and really look out for. So with that being said, let's actually take a look into my computer so you guys can see on how you can replicate this. So first and foremost, it's very important to go ahead and understand these following components. Lower ticket products usually work better on TikTok. People's attention spans are very, very short on the platform. So you want people to act right away and make that decision before feeling too guilty. And on top of that, yes, a larger or older age demographic is slowly making its way onto TikTok, but predominantly it's still occupied by 18 to 25 year olds. So 10 to $40 is just a sweet spot. This case I'm selling for about $20 myself. Second of all, you wanna make sure that the product is indeed a broad product, just like this phone case. Almost anyone can go ahead and buy this if you ask me. Make sure it's mass targetable and mass approachable. You don't want any limitations, biases, or hindrances attached towards it in terms of gender, age, geographical, location, preferences, interests, or anything like that. And then last but not least, content is absolutely key. You do need user-generated content for this organic strategy, let alone for TikTok ads, even in which I did talk about in another video. So you need that UGC, you need the user-generated content. You can always order the product on Amazon or eBay or even 
you know, eventually outsource it on Fiverr or Upwork for other people to go ahead and make your video. You can even get someone like a company maybe like Bilo to go ahead and make it, but they charge about $60 a video. So you don't really get the most out of your time and energy. In fact, guys, you don't need any high production value. I filmed both of these videos and hundreds of other videos for this phone case brand with my iPhone XR. The TikTok Creative Center is also a great way to gain some inspiration and value to see what other creators and e-commerce brands are making on the platform and what's gaining the most traction. This is the most important of it all, right? You have to have some sort of strategy to posting on TikTok and as a result getting those sales. I recommend personally having three to four accounts on TikTok so you maximize your chances. Sometimes accounts do get shadow banned, it's just like that. Now on each account, I recommend posting about three to five videos per day. Make sure you have your profile picture, make sure you have a nice bio with that link in bio. And then on top of that, I also recommend utilizing trending hashtags and sounds as well. You can easily go on over to the explore page and see what's working that day or that week. This will definitely tell the algorithm to further go ahead and boost your video as long as it's relevant to your potential audience. Competitor research is also great. It's definitely something that you should do to gain some inspiration and see what's working for other people then do it your own way, do it better, and of course, get better results. So the one thing I do recommend although is do not just copy and repost that shows signs of laziness and the TikTok algorithm in fact will recognize that and as a result, it will not go ahead and boost your videos out to the right amount of people. And that's what you want. The main goal is for your videos to go viral and reach as many people as possible for free. And then last but not least guys, Get creative, utilize what TikTok has to offer. You do not need any other editing platforms or tools. Everything that you need is right there. It has so much to offer in its little editor tool within the app. So get creative, use Siri voiceovers, use different colors, different fonts, voiceovers, different clips, effects, filters, you have to go ahead and make sure you're creative and really capture people's attention in those first two to three seconds of them watching the TikTok. Because if you don't, then guess what? People will continue scrolling because people's attentions are very, very short on TikTok, even shorter than they are on Instagram and Facebook because it is a creative or a video contingent platform. So all in all, really what I'm saying guys is have fun with all of this. It can definitely be very lucrative long term and the other great thing is that once you start gaining all these followers you can go ahead and incorporate multi-channel marketing and drive visitors to your Instagram and to your YouTube and it's almost kind of like free retargeting as well on the TikTok platform. I really hope this made some sense and was valuable for you guys. Definitely take a few hours of your day and try this strategy out. There is absolutely nothing to lose besides paying for the product cost, which is probably going to be a few bucks or maybe 10 or 15 bucks assuming you have a lower or mid ticket item which is what you should be going for like i just mentioned as always guys if you do have any questions thoughts or concerns then what are you waiting for feel free to drop them in the comments down below as i do reply to each and every single one of them furthermore check out all the links and resources in the description down below because i do definitely definitely think they are very helpful for your Shopify dropshipping store. Last but not least, I know I do not talk about this as much, but my one-on-one -on -one coaching program, Ecom Masterminds Incubator, is accepting two more students for the rest of Q4, where you can actually work with myself one-on-one. -on -one. We can dive deeper into your challenges and your roadblocks and really turn things around. So definitely check out that in the description down below. I look forward to all of your applications and I look forward to working with you and your business of course other than that thank you guys so much for tuning in once again i really do appreciate each and every single one of you remember to keep working hard and more importantly continue being awesome other than that your boy is out peace